large part of our practice at Askin and Hooker is elder law, and elder law does not refer to an attorney who is becoming elderly. Rather, it refers to a specific practice of law that addresses the legal needs of people as they age. And elder law is kind of a very comprehensive uh, field of the law. Uh, obviously, as people age, there are a lot of legal needs that develop uh, over the years, primarily probably focused on things that you might uh, have heard of, like uh, estate planning and wills and trusts. But it also addresses tax planning. It addresses legal needs for income with respect to um, Social Security, Medicare, um, and kind of the change from uh, investing and uh, saving money for retirement, but planning and strategies for how to tap into those uh, retirement assets that you've worked for so many, many, many years uh, to save over the, over, your, over the course of your career. And there are specific strategies, both tax planning and legacy planning for uh, withdrawing money from qualified retirement accounts, uh, for applying for Social Security, uh, how to plan to maximize your Social Security um, benefits, how to minimize the tax implications of uh, passing on your estate um, when you're no longer here someday. Um, part of what we do as elder law attorneys, obviously, is drafting these essential legal documents uh, that help our clients uh, clear, uh, clearly exp express their their wishes uh, for their family members and help and assist them and their families accomplish their goals. Uh, this usually includes uh, power of attorney, health care directive, uh, last will and testament, and in some cases, trusts. Uh, we do uh, irrevocable trusts, revocable living trusts, in some cases, uh, Medicaid planning trusts, tax planning trusts, special needs trusts. Uh, there are very, very, very many different types of trusts that uh, are involved in, in elder, elder law. Um, a common impediment to planning is the tendency to think that there is, uh, there's time, that time is on my side and I can, you know, there's no rush, don't need to do it right away. And I can tell you over the years of my practice that uh, there's no better time than now to take care of these things. Um, it's never too early, but it can be too late. Uh, and I can tell you I've seen too many times in my career instances and cases where it was too late and uh, something happened or somebody passed on without getting around to doing that legal appointment with their attorney that they had talked about for many years. Um, as I always say to uh, prospective clients, nobody's going to tap you on the shoulder to tell you that now is the time to get that plan in place. Uh, a recent call reminded me of just how true that is. I received a call from Mary a couple weeks ago who had moved into her father's house um, after her mom had passed away. And she moved in with dad to help take care of him. And uh, that happened many years ago. And, and Mary was, a, you know, obviously a devoted daughter and took great care of her dad for many years. And dad had discussed with Mary many times over the course of those years that... Um, um, she and her sister were going to be, were going to share in his estate someday, but that he wanted to leave his house to Mary. Mary called me just the other day to tell me that unfortunately her father had indeed passed on and uh, it was time to uh, implement uh, the terms of his will. So I met with Mary and reviewed his will and let her know that the will indeed did say what she thought it did, that you know, all of his assets were going to be shared equally between she and her sister. And she asked, well, what about dad's wishes that I get to keep the house? And I said, well, I wish you had called us before dad had passed away and we had incorporated that into his will because it was too late. And uh, Mary said, well, what's going to happen with the house now? And I had to tell Mary, well, it's really going to be up to your sister because Mary had a sister and uh, the house now legally belonged to her and her sister. Of course, there are things that could be done but legally, her sister was entitled to half of that house that her dad had promised to marry. So um, don't, uh, don't be uh, you know, too uh, confident or too, um, too uh, passive in taking the time to make your plan, to meet with your attorney and take care of those things that are so important because 
Uh, like I said, nobody's going to tap you on the shoulder and tell you when something's going to happen or when the time is to plan.